Welcome to the Thursday, November 19th, 2015 edition of Ernerberry's Market Video, sponsored by Eastern Poultry and Food Distributors. In today's video, a survey is planned for West Coast anchovy stocks. Then later, the chicken production forecast for 2016 may surprise you. But first, the North American Meat Institute has issued a statement regarding a new Consumer Report story. Here with that story is your host, Jamie Chadwick. The North American Meat Institute released a statement in regards to a new Consumer Reports release on meat and antibiotic resistance, stating that its much-promoted report provides no new information of value to consumers beyond the fact that there are a wide variety of safe choices available on the marketplace for consumers to select. NAMI said it was disappointing that Consumer Reports continues to perpetuate myths about, quote, superbugs on meat and poultry products, and that it is nearly impossible to draw conclusions on antibiotic resistance and its relationship to production methods because Consumer Reports does not provide any detailed data to support its assertions. In fact, the Institute said the most important finding from Consumer Reports' work that is continually glossed over is the strong safety of meat and poultry products, that no matter the production method, consumers can be confident they are getting a safe, wholesome product. For more on this and other news from the center of the plate, please visit foodmarket.com. In other news, here's Seafood News staff writer Michael Ramsing looking at a survey that is planned for West Coast anchovy stocks. For the first time in 20 years, the Pacific Fishery Management Council will conduct its first assessment of northern anchovy stocks. Ongoing declines in the West Coast fishery prompted the council to go ahead with the assessment. Scientists agree the decline in the fishery is not related to commercial fishery landings, but additional data is needed to understand what's causing the lower population. The Scientific and Statistical Committee recommends the council take a stepwise approach to the stock assessment, starting with a scientific workshop to determine the best method to assess anchovy fluctuations before the survey gets underway next summer. Read more about the West Coast Anchovy Survey at SeafoodNews.com and head over to the Seafood tab in Comtel for more seafood market commentary and analysis. Thanks, Michael. The chicken production forecast for 2016 may be a surprise to all. Here with that story is poultry market reporter Terrence Wells. Earlier this week, the USDA released its broiler production forecast for the remainder of 2015 and 2016. And despite the constant pressure chicken prices have faced in recent months, it appears slaughter is still advancing. By the end of this year, industry analysts expect that total production will reach 40.2 billion ready-to-cook pounds, up more than 1.6 billion pounds or 4.2% from 2014. Furthermore, the USDA is projecting that slaughter will increase to nearly 41 billion pounds in the year 2016. According to the USDA, chick placements have been trending lower, but average live weights have been higher on a year-over-year -year basis for the last 35 months. So while some of us may be convinced that production is no longer advancing because hatchery figures are trending lower, we must first remind ourselves to consider all the factors, especially the average live weights, before jumping to any conclusions. Thanks, Terrence. That concludes today's show. Thanks for watching and have a great day. This broadcast is sponsored by Eastern Poultry and Food Distributors, wholesalers of poultry, beef, pork, and seafood since 1954. Visit them online at epoultry.com.